Hola, buenos dias, good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard, the planning diva, here with my 2023 planner lineup. And um, before I get too excited, I just want to say that I think in 2023, I am going to be changing my plan. <laughs> my planner name, my channel name into La Planning Diva because I just think that is a little bit more appropriate and representative of the kind of content that I have here on my channel. I'm very proud of my Four Lizard YouTube channel. I love my name. I think it was a very necessary step in my YouTube evolution and growth. And for all of those of you who have been with me from the very, very, very beginning, you know that I've gone through several channel name changes and each one has been an important process, an important step in my journey. And I just think it's time for another evolution of my channel into La Planning Diva. I think it's just gonna be really fun and really cute and captures more of the essence of what I do here. So let me know your thoughts on my channel name change, yay or nay. Let me know in the comments down below. And without further ado, let's get into one of the most exciting videos of the year of the community, the planner lineup planner stack video. I have in front of me a ridiculous, ostentatious, devilicious amount of planners. It's obscene. And I'm just so excited and so happy to be sharing with you what I've chosen for my planner lineup in the new year. I love planners. They make me happy. They're motivating. They're spaces for creativity and motivation. And I am completely unapologetic about the number of planners I have in front of me. So let's get into it. Let's start off with the most important planner in my lineup. Um, this one right here. So this is planner number one. This is my thick and juicy home life planner. And all of my planners right now are already set up. I already set them up. Unfortunately, I didn't do it on camera. I don't have any filming about how I set up my planners. So I'm just gonna have to explain the thought process behind each one and where I got each of the parts for each planner because a lot of these planners are hybridized, they're Franken-planned. They're mix-ups, mash-ups of various planners and notebooks from the Happy Planner and 99% of my stuff is from the Happy Planner. I just love their aesthetic, love the disc bound system and it just does it for me. So this is my thick and juicy home life planner and some people would call this a catch-all planner. I like calling it a home life planner because that makes more sense to me. This is everything that has to do with my house, my home, my household, and everything that has to do with like my social life and my general life. This is the planner I pay the most attention to. This is the planner that I check in with the most. This is the planner that continues, that I continue to work with even in the most busy of times. And if you've been with me for a while, you've seen this planner quite a bit. Um, I've changed the cover here and there. I've changed the discs here and there, but this is the planner that you see the most on my channel. It is a big sized planner and the cover is from the Whimsy Wonders Back to School collection. This was actually the cover from a notebook, but I stole it for the cover of my planner. The discs are Expander hot pink metal discs. I love it. And I don't mind that this says teaching is an adventure here at the front because I am in education. Education is a huge part of my life, so I don't mind it being on my home life planner. And this planner actually, um, I've been using this for the majority of the year. I really started this planner in April of this year, and so the year at a glance is already all set up. Um, I'm actually gonna be taking out these two pages once the new year hits, and I'm gonna be using this cover page. This is from the Disney Seasonal um, Planner, and I've already set up my year at a glance here. I actually have two year, of a two year at a glance pages for 2023 because I already set up this page as well. <laughs> and these pages are from the Seasonal Doodles Planner. But anyways, I just have a bunch of stuff here in the beginning, some daily sheets. I take out the months as the months end because this planner is already obscenely thick. So I still have November in here 
and I have December in here because it's still December but for the new year I've already set set up my 12 months and I'm going to be using a combination of two planners I'm going to be using mostly the pages from the Disney seasonal big planner this is a color block that they released um, earlier this year but now and then I'm going to be pulling for some months from this planner this is the seasonal doodles planner from Michaels and I've decided to pull for a couple of months from this one and that one is a vertical so for January I have the Disney seasonal um, this is a color block it's very very cute I love it February, um, I'm still sticking with the Disney seasonal, same with March, but then in April, I decided to go with the seasonal doodles because I like this divider more than the one that the, um, see the Mickey seasonal one has. And I thought it would be fun to switch it up now and then so I'm not too bored. And then this is a vertical style. It has a lot of color to it, like on the spine and the doodles and for the monthly um, overview, but I'm fine with that. And then May, I went back to the Disney Seasonal. The color changes every month. This month is yellow. And then June, I decided to go with the Seasonal Doodles. Same with July. I love this one with the fireworks. And then in August, I'm going with Disney Seasonal again. This one's cute with the pink. And I believe, yeah, this one's green. I love this color with the little design up and down the spine. September, I went with the Disney Seasonal. This one's gorgeous with all the gold foil. And then for October, I decided to go with um, Seasonal Doodles because I love this design so much. And then this is um, still a vertical and we just have like the nice burgundy color up and down the spine. For November and December, I decided to go with Disney Seasonal. I actually don't like this one that much, but I like the other Seasonal Doodles Planner November divider even less, and so I just decided to go with this one. It's a nice beige for the color block shading. And then December, the last month of the year, I thought this design was super cute, so I went with this one. And those two planners are what make up my 2023 home life planner very seasonal i've noticed that i'm very into seasonal for my home life planner and i'm just excited to dive into these months for the new year so that's my home life planner it's planner number one okay let's talk about my work planners i have two work planners for 2023 this is my scientific research planner and this is my teaching planner and i like to talk about them both at the same time because they're kind of just opposite sides of the same coin for me they both are kind of work planners for me but this is for scientific research and then this is for teaching i'm a postdoctoral scientist at the university of california at riverside my job is strictly scientific research, but I do a lot of education on the side. Currently, I'm trying to set up an educational program to teach informal science classes in my local county juvenile hall. And then once that program is established, I hope to export that program into other county jails and prisons. So all of that stuff is going to go into my teaching planner. I also do a lot of um, outreach and service work in the educational sphere, and so all of that goes into here as well. And then I also use my teaching planner as my catch-all for any professional development, career development, any trainings or workshops that I want to attend to further my career goes into here. Anything that's not really scientific research goes into my teaching planner. And I kind of justify my teaching planner as still calling it a teaching planner because for me, it's all about education, education of others as well as education of self. And so that all goes in here. Anyways, for my scientific research planner, let's talk about this one first. I'll set this one to the side. This is the Cozy Critters um, color block planner. It's a big, I love the big size. I'm obsessed with the big size right now. It's just so much space. I put her on these beautiful gold classic metal discs and I have all of the Cozy Critters like accessory stuff in here. Um, the cover page, the whiteboard dashboard, the vision board. And then um, I actually have uh, the month of December in here from another planner. I'm using the Cosmic Watercolors horizontal planner for work right now. But once that's done, I can jump into my Cozy Critters planner for January. And this is a color block. I just love the soft colors throughout the planner. It's very me, it's very cute. 
And I like that it has a lot of color because I don't use this planner decoratively at all. Yes, I, you know, put down stickers in it. I do try to make it cute. It's fun to slap down stickers here and there. But for the most part, this is just very functional for me. I'm just scribbling a lot of notes. I'm checking off a lot of things. And that's just how I use this planner. So I'm happy that it has a lot of color because it doesn't look super plain if I don't have a million stickers on it. And I also only have the first six months of the year in here because I don't want it to be too thick because I don't want it to be too heavy. I do carry these planners in my backpack and I walk around on campus quite a bit so I don't want it to be too heavy. I already think having six months in here is already making it quite thick. I used to combine just like two months at a time for my research and my teaching planner into like a really thin big planner. I put it on mini discs, but even then like the mini discs, they were just too small. It was like hard to turn pages. My pages were tearing um, like in the holes here and it just was not, it wasn't working out for me. And so I just ended up upgrading to the classic size and these are a little big for how many pages I have on them. Like I probably could fit all these pages on mini discs, but I honestly don't have as many mini discs as I would like and I don't have them in various colors. And so I'd rather just use classic discs in a color I do like and have them be a little, a little loose. And as the year progresses, I'll add more pages in here. The stickers will thicken things up, so I'm not too worried about it. I have a bunch of daily sheets here. These are from the Princess Elegance um, accessory pack, and I just love this long schedule here. I love me a good schedule, and these pages are like fantastic for that. On the back, we just have um, lined pages. These are perfect for scratch paper, um, brain dumps, so... I have that there and then the last section I have in here is just a scratch paper section. I have these small filler sheets. Sometimes I just want like a small piece of paper to scribble on and then some daily schedule sheets and then some um, dotted lined paper from the Cozy Critters accessory pack and lastly just a folder from the Cozy Critters accessory pack and some notes and some functional boxes and stickers in here and that's all I have in my work planner. I'm very excited about this planner here. Planner number three, this is my teaching planner and this is a true mashup of planners. The cover is from the Blush In It Big Vertical Planner. It's gorgeous, I love this thing so much. I bet you can tell that I have a specific color palette and a specific style that I like to work in. The discs are gold classic discs. I think they look perfect with the gold foil on this. Love the cover page um, and just like my work planner, I have the month of December from another planner. I'm using um, teacher planner. This is the Disney teacher planner. I'm using that for December. But the months are a mashup. These are a complete mashup. So the month of January divider, this is actually from that same teacher planner, the Whimsy Wonders teacher planner. Very, very cute. But the monthly and the weekly pages are from the Paula and Waffle dashboard planner. So for the pages, I'm using a combination of this one. This is the Whimsy Wonders Teacher Planner, and then this one. This is the Paula and Waffle Dashboard Planner. And the reason I'm using those two planners is because I love the Paula and Waffle dashboard pages. Like I'm gonna be using them every single month. I love this dashboard, this new dashboard style. I love the color and the icons on the pages. I think this is perfect. Um, for teaching, but I don't like every single divider. So I hated the January divider. I absolutely hated it. So I switched it up. I taped over that divider with this divider from the Whimsy Wonders and it looks so much cuter. February, I liked the Paula and Waffle one, so I left it. March, I hated it, so I covered it up with this Whimsy Wonders divider, super cute. And then that's the last one that I changed up. I really liked the April one, so I left that one. I liked the May one, so I left that one. And then I liked the June one, so I left this one as well. And just like my research planner, I only have the first six months of the year in here. Again, for the same reasons. I just don't want to carry that much paper around and I feel like carrying six months at a time is perfect. That's enough for me. January through June encompasses two entire quarters in the UC system. We have our spring quarter and our winter quarter. 
or I should say our winter quarter and then our spring quarter ends in June. And so I have two quarters at a time here and I find that's perfect for me. And just like my research planner, I also have a bunch of daily sheets with a nice long schedule here in the back and some filler paper. This is just plain old dot line paper from the back to school um, whimsy wonders accessory pack and just some random daily sheets in the back and that's it that's all i have here in my teaching planner so i'm very excited about this love how it's set up and that is my third planner okay let's talk about my last big planner in my lineup before we get into my classics I am so excited for this. This is the Stress Management Planner. This is a new layout from the Happy Planner and it really, really, really intrigues me. So I'm very excited about this. This is gonna be my wellness slash stress management planner. I've always gone back and forth with wellness. I get into it, I drop off, I get into it, I drop off. And I am interested to see if I keep up with this, if I manage to maintain this. So we'll see what happens, but I'm just very intrigued by it and I'm ready to like dedicate and commit to it. So this planner, I have not really changed up much besides changing the discs. I changed the discs into this like tie-dye rainbow, which I love, but the rest of this planner is still very much just like, um, you know, how it was shipped to me. I think the color scheme is gorgeous. The dividers are gorgeous. The monthly overview prompts are amazing and I just am so excited about this layout, the stress management layout. I'm very very excited to see how I work with it and what it does for me. I actually have one month missing in here, the month of February. I gave it to my sister-in-law. She was over at my house and she was really intrigued by this layout and so I gave her um, one of the months to try out. So I just popped in um, this month of February from my pressed florals planner. This is outdated. This was from last year. But I figured I could just grab a vertical style planner and kind of adapt it to be similar to um, just like how the regular stress management layout is. Like I feel like I could really easily set up this style in a vertical, so we're gonna go with that. But that's the only month I'm missing. All the other months I still have. But yeah, this thing is just, it looks, it just makes me so happy when I flip through it and it just makes me excited. It makes me motivated to commit to wellness and self-care and mindfulness and stress management. And I feel like I really, really want to prioritize all of that in the new year. I feel like my stress has been kind of getting out of hand lately and I just want to kind of take my life back from that and and really pre prioritize myself. So we'll see how it goes, but you'll see, you'll see. I will keep you updated on this journey here. So that is my fourth planner and my last big planner. Okay, let's talk about these planners right here. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So let's start with this one. This is my creative journal. This is the citrus planner. I don't know what this thing is called, but it's the fun citrusy one, super, super cute. And this is just my creative journal. It's a space where I just, you know, I don't have to follow any rules. I just do what I want. I just be creative. I just decorate pages and I just have fun with it. And I really like what I've been doing in this planner so far. So I'm just gonna keep with it. And and I have been kind of off and on with this planner. I've been off and on using this like citrusy um, citrus planner for the last couple of months. This planner did start in July of this year. So I've been using it here and there off and on trying to figure out how I want to use this, what I want to use it for, how it's going to fit into my routine. I actually changed up the December divider because I didn't like the December divider for this planner and so I changed it with another divider from a month that I didn't use. I used to use this um, planner to also like plan out my YouTube stuff and so the monthly I was kind of using to map out the videos I was going to publish but I've decided to use a different planner for YouTube so I'm gonna figure out I'm gonna have to figure out what I want to do with the monthly but I like to do like all kinds of things in here sometimes I'm like super creative and then sometimes I'm just more functional you can see here Anyway, these dividers are just super, super cute. They make me so happy. I'm very excited about this creative journal. I think it's adorable and I can't wait to experiment with this thing and play around with it more. And this is gonna last until December here. 
And I actually have another planner hybridized in here. This is my Japanese planner that I've been trying to get back into. But I'm thinking of just having my Japanese planner separate. I'm thinking of taking out these pages and then just using this, just keeping my creative journal kind of separate, so. And actually, I might as well just share that with you right now. I'm thinking of getting back into my Japanese this year and using this um, lined vertical from the Oasis collection for my Japanese. This is actually an outdated planner. This was for this year, I believe. And I just never ended up using it. I got too busy trying to graduate from my PhD, which I did. So I feel like I am finally coming out of that fever dream and finally reclaiming my life back. So I'm hoping to get back into this this year. And I don't mind that it's outdated because I don't really use this as a planner. I use this more as a journal and a workbook. So I'm excited to continue to work with this. I've already set up quite a bit of spreads in this planner as well, so it's all ready to go. So I'm thinking of pulling out um, the pages that I have set up here for my Japanese. I'm thinking of pulling these out of my creative journal, popping them into this planner, and just keeping these two planners separate. So this is planner number five and planner number six. Okay, let's talk about this planner here. This planner is a complete mashup of five different planners. So first off, the cover is Cozy Critters. The discs are these gorgeous purple glitter discs. I'm still figuring out how I want this to be set up. I still need to grab like a, like a title page. Right now, I just have this like whiteboard dashboard at the beginning. But this is kind of like my more functional planners that are combined together. I have my fitness planner in here. It's the first one in the setup. So my fitness planner, um, so far I've been using like a combination of various fitness planners and other planner stuff to create my fitness planner. But in 2023, I'm going to be using the tie-dye fitness planner. Um, it starts in January, goes through December as a 12-month planner. I'm very excited to get into this planner. It's super, super cute. The pages are really, really neutral, which I'm looking forward to. And I already actually have, let's see, like eight months worth of fitness pages here. I kind of started saving my pages in April, and so this planner kind of starts in April, and I was just using like various types of fitness planners and like dividers to create my my perfect fitness planner here um but i think starting in january i'm really gonna stick to the tie-dye dividers because i think they're really really cute i love them so much i don't really see myself changing these dividers at all so we're just gonna see these tie-dye dividers for the next 12 months but yeah it's my fitness planner so this is my seventh planner, my fitness planner. And then following my fitness planner, I have my meal planner. And this meal planner, I was off and on with it um, throughout the year, but I'm getting back into it. And I want to continue to be committed to meal planning and meal prepping. And so these pages are actually from um, this meal planner here. Happy Planner did not release a meal planner for 2023, but thankfully I have like a second copy of this meal planner because I found this on clearance at Michael's earlier in the year. It was like three dollars and so I just picked up this meal planner. I'm going to be using this again for 2023 and I'm just going to be redating it so I just have a completely new blank fresh meal planner for 2023. I'm hoping that they come out with a meal planner again because I really like it. I guess it didn't sell that well. Not a lot of people were into it. And so that's why they didn't put out another one, but I hope they do put out another one. If not, I can always just use like a, a regular color block or vertical or even a teacher planner. We'll see what I do. But at least for 2023, I do have a meal planner. So that is my eighth planner, my meal planner. Next planner that I have in my lineup is my budget planner. And I am actually using just like a hodgepodge of budget extension packs for my budget planner for 2023. Right now I have this planner as my budget planner. This is actually, the cover is actually from a notebook 
this isn't an actual planner but i just love this for my budget planner because i think the good to be bad like fits my my attitude towards budgeting and spending <laughs> perfectly so this is actually just like a hodgepodge of budget extension packs budget trackers and i'm just gonna be pulling from this planner for my budget section so a lot of these dividers are actually recycled from previous budget planners and i have a lot of undated budget months from various extension packs in here so i'll just be pulling from this collection of budget stuff in the new year i have various budget planner extension packs in here i have like this style i have um this more like og style um yeah i just have various various different types of uh budget planners in here and they're all undated so I, I can just grab whatever and then just date it so yeah this is my budget planner and super important to budget so this is my ninth planner <laughs> my tenth planner is my faith planner here so my faith planner um i go off and on with my faith planner as well I was kind of off of it for the last two months, but this month I picked it up again. I love doing my interfaith calendars in here. They're really important for me. This is very important for me spiritually. And so I really want to continue to make the time and have and make the effort to get in touch with my spirituality, to practice my faith. And this kind of goes hand in hand with my grimoire, which is something i haven't been sharing as much lately because i've been kind of having a little bit of a evolution i would say with my grimoire i was kind of setting it up in a certain way and then i decided to kind of change how i was setting things up i want to make more content with my grimoire in the new year that's one of my goals and so i'm hoping that i finally like just take the time to really kind of dedicate some time to figure out how i want to structure this i just need to figure out exactly how i want to structure this because i did have a little bit of a moment where i decided to structure it a completely different way and so then i kind of like froze up all of my progress in here and i just didn't want to work in it until i really figured out what it is i wanted to do anyways what i'm trying to say is i do just want to spend more time with my faith planner and my faith planner is actually this baby right here. This is the Be Still Faith Planner. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I have this planner until December of 2023. So I'm very, very excited um, to continue working with this planner. And this is a planner that I use kind of um, more of more as a journal than an actual planner. How I do how I work with this planner is that whenever I feel like I want to journal in this, then um, I kind of treat it as an undated planner, and I I white out like all the dates, and then whenever I feel like journaling, I'll just journal. So I journaled this day June seventh, and then the next day I journaled was June 9th, and then I journaled on June twelfth, and then on the twenty second. And so this way it feels like much less work to keep up with and i really like how i use this kind of as an undated journal anyway that's my faith planner and then the last planner that i have in here my 11th planner right my 11th planner this is my gardening planner and my gardening planner oh, i love it so much these pages are actually from this planner this is um, a combination between an undated gardening planner and an undated vertical and I use this planner kind of much differently than a normal planner I use the undated vertical layout but I've converted it into what I call the rolling monthly in which each box stands for one day and so you're looking at three weeks at a time here I feel like that's the perfect pace to have a gardening planner because you know growing is a slow process and so you really don't need i feel like the weekly pace of a planner i like this like three weeks at a time situation and i use the dividers as seasons so instead of this being a month this is spring 2022 and then we have summer 2022 and so this planner is really going to last me for a long time so i have um the current season in 
this like Franken planner here. So here we had November 14th through the end of the month. And then I actually just set up December, the first weeks in December here. This is my bookmark. And I have big plans for my garden next year. I'm going to construct raised beds. My boyfriend's actually gonna help me. We're really excited about making raised beds in my garden this year. I have this gopher in my backyard who is like eating all of my plants and does not let me live my best life. And so we really need to get raised beds in so that we prevent the gopher from eating everything. So I just have a little raised bed budget note sheet here. And then I set up some tables to help me remember what I sewed in my seed starter kits. And then I actually need to set up the next spread for my gardening planner because it's currently the 19th and this spread has ended. It's the 18th. It was the 18th yesterday. So I need to set this up. And that's the last um, planner in this Franken planner. I just have some journaling pages and some filler paper in the back here. And that's it. So I, I have um, my fitness meal planning, budget, faith, and gardening planners in here. So I have five planners in here. And I just have one month at a time in here. Okay, I just quickly wanted to mention this. This is my daily planner. I use this whenever I feel like I want to use daily sheets. I just had to mention this because this planner is my all-time favorite planner ever. Like this design, my all-time favorite. I put it on my all-time favorite like pink metal discs. I love this thing so much. This was the first like decorative cover name page that I ever did so it has a special place in my heart and yeah this thing is just one of my like favorite planners ever. I have like my morning routines in here. I have some whiteboards in here. Um, I have some folders in here and I just use this as my daily page um, planner. Whenever I feel like I need to use daily pages, I'll just set one up and stick it in here. And sometimes I'll use like three, four, or five in a month, and some months I'll use just one or two. So yeah, this is just my daily page um, planner. And I don't use it as much as I used to, but I just, I still want it to be here for whenever I feel like I, you know, do want to use it. And I just like having this in my lineup at all times. Anyways, that's my daily planner. Okay, and kind of like an honorable mention as well. This is not a planner, but I just wanted to share this with you because it's so cute. And I always want to have this pressed floral planner in my lineup with the light purple discs and the glitter in them. So cute. This is just my filler page um, storage situation. I have a bunch of filler pages in here from various um, notebooks and accessory packs. And I just keep a lot of my filler paper in here and I keep this with my planner stack for whenever I need to grab for filler paper. So, so cute. I love this thing. The last two planners in my lineup. I know this video is obscenely long. I hope you have been enjoying this whirlwind tour through all of my planners. I've lost track of how many we have now. I think this one's 13 and 14. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'm ridiculous. Okay, so number 13. This is my on-the-go planner. Very, very cute. It's the 90s mini horizontal planner. And I've just been loving this as an on-the-go planner. I stuff this into my purse, into my backpack. And whenever I feel like I need to jot down thoughts or anything while I'm out and about and I don't have my planners with me, I'll use this to jot things down. And sometimes I'll decorate it and sometimes I won't. Sometimes I'll just use it to keep track of expenses. Whenever I buy anything, I jot down how much I spend so that way I can go back into my budget planner and write it down. But I've been really enjoying this and it was just too cute for me not to use. I'm very excited to continue to use this in the new year. And it's just nice to have like a little notebook at hand where I can just jot down thoughts. I find that I have like tons of thoughts while I'm out and about in the day and then half the time I'll just forget about them and then I'll just get frustrated and, and annoyed because it was a really good thought. You know, it was either something I had to do or just it was like an idea for a video or an idea for work or something like I just have tons of ideas and if I don't write them down, I likely will forget about them. So this is my brain dump on the Go Planner. 
And then the last planner in my lineup, and the one that I'm perhaps most excited to talk about, is my YouTube and small business shop planner. This is a new planner from Cafecito Designs. This is the first planner she has ever released. I love Cafecito Designs. It's a Latina-owned small sticker and stationery shop. They do amazing stickers, washi, and all other crafting and stationery goodies. And she put this planner in the advent box that she released this year. I picked up the advent box. It had so many goodies in it, and it had this planner in it. And I knew that I had to use it. It's so inspirational to see uh, another Latina really grow her business, her stationery shop. Like I would love to have my own stationery shop just like her. And it's something that I'm preparing to do in the new year. It's already been a lot of work <laughs> even thinking about setting up something like this. So I'm very, very excited and nervous to see where it goes. But I figured that this could be my planner to set that all up. This is an undated vertical planner and I've already decorated it quite a bit. Let me see if I can zoom in. I've decorated these first two pages. They were just blank pages, blank white pages when I got it, but then I used scrapbook paper and these postcards that I've gotten um, from Cafecito Designs in the past and in the advent box. I've also used a bunch of her stickers to decorate these two inside pages. I decorated the cover page and then this page as well very very cute i just love how latina and mexican her designs are it really just speaks to me culturally so that's my cover page and then we just have some blank um, pages for notes and brain dumps and then this is the first month of the year it's undated so i set everything up i dated it very very cute and then we just have some dot line paper and then this is the first week that i've set up i wanted to set it up starting on the 26th of december because the new year is on sunday so it's mostly most of these days are in 2022 but i just wanted to hit the ground running with this and so i set it up for this week but this is going to be the first official week of the new year and this is what the pages look like when they're blank so we just have a couple of those pages and then we have another monthly and yeah this is what it looks like when it's blank but it's a very very cute planner and i'm just excited to use it and i love supporting um, cafecito designs i love her entire vision i love her aesthetic it's very me and so i'm so excited to use this as inspiration to launch my own stickers i've mentioned this before on my channel me and my best friend from high school Garla. We have been talking about opening up a little business for forever and we both love stickers and stationery so we're really thinking about launching like a small sticker shop. We've already started designing like our first sticker collection. I just received my printer, like the printer I'm going to be used to print everything out yesterday. I just got that so things are slowly picking up pace. Actually, I ordered a Cricut bundle for Black Friday, but unfortunately there was a mistake. But actually there was a, an unfortunate like mistake that happened. I ordered the Cricut bundle. I was so excited to start using my Cricut and cutting out stickers. And it turns out that someone else picked up my order. So I ordered it online. My card was charged and then I had it sent to my local Joanne but then I never got an email saying that my order was ready and so I finally just called one day because it had been weeks at this point that you know I'd placed my order and I'd never gotten an email saying that it was ready to be picked up. I got the email saying that I had placed the order but not that it was ready to be picked up. So I called and apparently someone else picked up my order so which surprised me because you would think that like someone would have to show an id with like the appropriate name in order to pick up like something that was ordered online that is what happened with my um, printer i ordered from best buy i ordered it online and then when i picked it up at best buy i had to show my id to confirm it was like my purchase so i'm surprised joanne didn't have the same thing but anyway someone out there has my cricut and I don't know where my Cricut is. <laughs> and honestly, it seems like it's gonna be a huge hassle to figure it all out. I did start the process of trying to figure things out, but it does seem like their customer service isn't the best. And honestly, what I think is going to happen is I'm gonna have to cancel the entire order. They're gonna have to refund me my money and I'm gonna have to buy the Cricut separately. 
which is unfortunate because I ordered it precisely for the bundle and the deal of getting like all of the Cricut accessories alongside the bundle. So it's really, really unfortunate, but we'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated. Anyways, that is it. That is my entire planner stack. That was a ridiculous amount of planners. I hope you were entertained at the very least. Let me know what is in your planner lineup for the new year. Let me know if we're twinning with any of these planners. I would love to know. Let me know what you're using them for. And I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, and happy planning. Bye.